And just a look at the BBC News online reports. It's a warning by the World Obesity Federation. More than, more than half of the world's population will be classed as obese or overweight by 2035 if no action is taken with rates rising fastest among children. Some of the inside pages then now and a story from The Times this morning talking about the fact that the world is going through a mass extinction of different species at the moment. And if you're trying to pick which species then you should concentrate on saving, they say you should look for evolutionary rarity. So species that are really unique and they point to the mountain pygmy possum here, which is actually, I think, very cute looking, as is the eye eye. Now, the Madagascan eye eye is completely unique. There isn't any other species that looks anything like it in the world, with its spindly middle finger and yellow eyes that look perpetually terrified, as the paper described it. But nothing has come close to the eye eye in something like 40 million years. So these are the ones we should be and concentrating on. how rare on. are they, these things? Incredibly rare. I mean, the mountain pygmy possum, there are only about 2,000 of them left in the world. Mountain so pygmy possum. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Well, this story rather pales by comparison with that in terms of uh, importance to the world we live in. I don't know. <laughs> I think scone eating but, is know, actually very important to a lot of people. So, um, you might have heard this story. This is about the uh, lady, uh, Sarah Merker, who's uh, visited 244 cafes um, to finish this challenge to eat a, a scone at every single uh, National Trust site across the UK. And she just achieved it. Um, and she said, you know, she had the whole lot. So she's, she's had so many scones over such a long period of time. Says the trick is uh, to a good scone is always has to be baked on the day. Yes. Uh, Nobody wants a dry scone. A lot of talk about which one she, she prefers. Uh, I, personally, I only like a scone, like a regular scone. You know, people mess with scones, you know. What, by putting raisins in them? That's all right. Dried fruit. But giving them, yeah, giving them extra flavours. A scone's a scone. Keep it simple. No, no cheese. No, no, no cheese. Well, especially not if you're having Make cream and cheese. jam. Does she say where she gets the best scone from? This no. is detail we need, Charlie. Sorry about that. No, I don't think she does. She doesn't say that because I think that might be a little bit unfair because all mm. National Trust properties... I'd be straight And there. to highlight one, mm. I mean, she must have a favourite. Yeah. I just don't think she's made that information public. If we get the chance to interview her, we'll ask her that very question Good. and sort that we'll out. We'll grill her. We're not we going to get into the whole debate of jam, cream first. It's just no, we're not. way too controversial. We're absolutely not. And finally, it's taken her 10 years, but a woman from Isleworth has now tried a scone, or is it a scone, at every single National Trust location. Sarah Merker set herself the challenge in 2013 and has eaten 244, giving them all a ranking and a review along the way. She started the project with her husband, Peter, who sadly died of cancer in 2018 and said it felt like they were finishing the challenge together at the Giants Causeway in Northern Ireland yesterday. And the information you're all waiting for, the best scone or scone of all, was a Christmas pudding variety with brandy butter at Treasurer's House in Yorkshire. It's making me very hungry.